What about a drop of water would make it so hard for you to pull that glass apart? Hey, how you doing? This is Jake Wizard4 here at Faraday Studios. I'm back again with two of my favorite wits, Chezzy. Hi. And Luca. Hi. There you go. So you know how stubborn you are sometimes and bullheaded? Uh-huh. Yes, and you know what's going on. I get that from you and my parents. Okay. Oh, well, I taught you well. So I've got some test tubes. Normally I tell kids this is nitric acid, make them a little nervous, but it's just water. I think it is. Yeah, it's water, okay. <laughs> I got test tubes here that are just the right size that one will nest down inside the other. So I'm gonna give you that pair. Okay. I'm gonna pour some water in. There it is. Test tube's got some water in it. Now give me your other test tube. Just hold that one. Okay, then I'm gonna pour just a little bit in there. Don't you be putting that in there yet. Now hold them up like this so people can see. What's gonna happen when you stick that in there and let go of it? What's gonna happen? The water, this is this is gonna drop into here. Yeah. And it's gonna force the water out. Now I want you people at home to think about for a second who are watching this. What's gonna happen when they drop the, the, the other test tube? Okay, so Chesie, you do yours first. Here we go. Just let go of it. Don't push it, just let go of it. See what it does. And it's going down, it's going down, it's going There's down, water. it's going down, it's going down. Water's coming out. And it's called water's coming out. It stopped, didn't it? Yeah, it does. All right, let's see what happens on yours. Here you go. He dropped it in, he dropped it in. Get your hand out of the way so people can see there. There you go. He's going down, it's going down, it's going down. It got wedged. And it, and it stopped. It got wedged with water. Here's the $50 yeah. question. Water's what is going to happen when you turn that up? You're going to you're gonna take your two test tubes and you turn it upside down very slowly. Oh, don't you do it yet. It What's it going to do? It's the water's going to fall out. I say the water's going to stay in because oh, it got yeah. wedged. Very carefully turn those test tubes upside down. The water Hold straight up and down, straight up and down. The water what happened to yours? Oh, my, what happened to yours? What? The test tube didn't fall out. Where did it go? It went up here. There ain't no wedge up there. Ah! <laughs> Why did that? Look, at it's upside down inside there. What got it up there? Oh, oh the air. It's, it's the oh, air bubble. the air's escaping. Because when the water comes out, the bubbles of air, they escape to the top and push it up. Is that what it is? So air yeah. pushes it up? Yes, yeah, so the air comes in. And it pushes First we it. have wedging. Now we've got air pushing. Yeah, okay. Air. Now you guys gave me some ideas, right? Some conjectures. I won't say if you're right or wrong or not, but I'm going to give you some more evidence. Would you open that box right there? Oh, oh, pizza. Oh, was pizza. Yeah, what does it say on there? Glass plates. You see where it says glass plates? Glass so pizza. give me two of those. Two of them for this young man down here. And you get two of them. I'm going to have you take some water. Just distill the water and just get the back. You don't need much. And kind of shake and give it. Now this is going to be really neat. You're going to have to be very observant. Now I want you to take a medicine dropper. Just put one little drop right here in the palm of your hand. Just look. What do you see? One little drop. You see that little drop in the palm of your hand? I want you to put that exact amount of water right at the center of that glass plate. So now I want you to take that second piece of glass and very carefully lower it and watch what happens to your drop when you do it. It broke. Whoa, yeah, it popped. They spread out, didn't they? Mm -hmm. So you're going to take this and hold on to it, and I just want you to separate those two glasses. Because right. what's in between? Water. Just lift off the top plate. No, I mean, just lift off the top plate. <laughs> Come on. It's, it, lift <laughs> off the top. I tried. <laughs> I am. Can you not get that apart? <laughs> Can you? Oh yeah, it's easy for me. Well, we'll huh? separate it like that, like huh? like we're doing. It. How you do it? Oh, it's just 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 like. No, that. don't so, slide it off. Oh, don't slide it off. Okay, look at it. I put. Oh, ah! Ah. You have to get your finger just uh, at the very. Yeah, yeah, edge. we got to pry it up. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh huh. I did it. Was it difficult to pull it apart? Yes. So and what's holding I mean, it together? The water. What about a drop of water would make it? It's so hard for you to pull that glass apart. This is your clue right here. I want you to say the word uh, adhesion or cohesion. Have you ever heard those adhesion words? Adhesion and cohesion. Have you yeah. heard of the word adhesive tape? Yes, yes it sticks I mean, it to sticks things. It sticks to stuff. It, it's, uh, it's and then stick. cohesion is stuff that sticks to each other. To each other. Water molecules mm, stick to each other. They're cohesive. They're cohesive, right? And that's why you get a drop of water because uh -huh. the molecules are hanging on. And those water molecules cohere to themselves and they adhere to the glass quite strongly, don't they? Well, stronger than you'd think. Did you learn anything with this? Water is strong. Strong doing what? Adhering to the glass. Adhering to the glass. And, and cohering to itself. And cohering to itself. Very strong. 
right. Say goodbye, yeah, Jesse. Just sign us out. This is Jesse signing off from Midnight Science Club. If you want to see more, you can go to YouTube, yep. Facebook, yep. Instagram, yep. Twitter, yep. and Patreon. Patreon.